Let's say you were interested in the way that Georgians lived a hundred years ago. How could you find out something about it? Well, in not very many more months, you could come here. This is Tifton, Georgia, and all this is going to be Agrorama. Georgia's history has always been firmly based in agriculture, and that's what the Agrorama project hopes to show. The State General Assembly set up the project back in 1972 as a non-profit educational program. All these buildings are authentic. They've been moved here from various locations across the state so that Agorama can reflect how it was way back when. Dr. Frank King, who's the head of the project, can explain things much better than I can. We hope to have here within the next few years a living farm in rural village of the period 1870-1899. They'll be able to see the crops and the livestock and the other activities of the farm and the village as they were in an earlier period. So everything here is going to be working? Uh, yes, we'll have crops and livestock, we'll have some shops, we'll have sawmill, cotton gin, turpentine steel, and other things that were common a uh, hundred years ago in a village of this size. This isn't going to be an amusement park, but it also isn't going to be a dry educational bore. Everything will work. Crops and livestock will be raised, the grist mill will grind, the cotton gin will do its thing, there'll be hams hanging in the smokehouse, and the turpentine still will chug out turpentine. Agorama will be an accurate reproduction. The barn will smell like a barn and the pig pen like a pig pen. You think you're going to convert any of those uh, up north touristers coming down into Georgia to the idea of coming back and moving to the south and planting cotton? I doubt if we will. Matter of fact, that'll not be our purpose, but uh, when they see us do it with a mule out here, I imagine they'll be a little bit discouraged. But it will help them to understand some of the things that uh, we in agriculture, we in this nation, have gone through a hundred years ago. Of course, it's not made just for the Yankees. We feel like that a lot of our own people will come to study and to see and to understand. And we, we hope that it'll mean a lot to the people of Georgia. We think it will. The first section of Agorama is scheduled to be opened on July 4th, 1976, but there'll be a preview of what's been done so far the weekend of May 10th and 11th. So if you're curious about how Georgians lived 100 years ago, it looks like Agorama will be able to satisfy you. In Tifton, Georgia, I'm Andy Johnston.